Intel, Bharat Dynamics, etc., that are still doing well in this market. But as promised, we were discussing with Andrew about how this whole home improvement theme is picking up in a big way, whether it is real estate, consumer durables, cement, now even paints is looking pretty good. So, Berger Paints is the next corporate on our radar. The stock, uh, if you look at it, has seen a 15% slip this year and is down 23% from its 52-week high. Now, that could also be because of the increasing competition in this space and uh, crude prices, uh, there were demand-related issues. But now, some of those issues have ironed out, so crude has fallen. Let's get a sense of how demand is looking and what it could mean for the FY23 performance. Abhijit Roy, who's the MD and CEO of the company, is joining us. Abhijit, thanks a lot for joining us on the show. Things have finally come back, demand is picking up. So tell us, how has the festive se season been so far? And how are you combating competition, which I think is, you know, the big uh, issue that's plaguing the paint industry currently? Uh, so the first question, you know, uh, July was a fairly very good month. Uh, then August, a little bit downwards, you know, we had a growth, but uh, not as robust as in July. September looks very good. So overall, uh, the growth rate should be uh, strong growth rate as far as quarter two is concerned. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, in terms of uh, demand, uh, therefore, you know, it seems to be uh, fairly good. Uh, given the current situation you know i think uh, amongst the consumer space you know in the industry i think we should be doing the paint as a category should be doing quite well mm. and on competition you were telling us about how it is so far and just trying to understand that given that so many players are entering the market will you be going uh, heavy on branding and would that mean additional costs for you so you know as far as competition is concerned so you know uh, Everyone has entered except one, you know, which is, you know, uh, probably will be entering around 2024. Uh, so all others are there already, you know. So we haven't had uh, any, you know, serious threat so far, you know, in terms of uh, our, uh, we continue to do whatever we were doing. And, and I don't think, you know, we need to be overly worried. Uh, of course, you know, we are taking uh, our own steps, you know, in terms of, uh, whatever we can do uh, to protect ourselves uh, when the new entrant enters. But we are not really, you know, very worried about it. You know, there is enough space, uh, I think, in the paint industry mm. for one to come in. You know, there's only one, uh, there's no plethora of competitors which are there. Mm. Uh, uh, and therefore, you know, not a big worry for us. Mm. And aggressive, right, uh, will launch uh, so. Uh, yes, you know, the, you know, that's the only one which is yeah. pending. Everything else is there in the system already. Yeah. Uh, and and yeah. therefore, you know, yeah. nothing much is going to change, will, you know, by the entry. Will, will, will promotion, advertising, etc. I mean, you've tied up with, uh, you know, uh, stars like Akshay Kumar, Kareena Kapoor. I mean, will uh, uh, advertising spends uh, see a big step up? Uh, so this way itself, we will be stepping it up a little bit, you know, from what was earlier. Uh, we want to build up our brand in any case, you know, because our, our, our positioning, you know, in the luxury segment uh, needs to be improved a little bit. So that we will do irrespective of, you know, whether someone enters or not. Mm. Uh, so, so that's a, a spend which we will do and, and probably will accelerate that, you know, probably next going forward. What is the cost uh, for, for, uh, for, for getting these two on board? Could you tell us? <laughs> So, you know, it's not, uh, it's it's quite reasonable, I would say, you know, I would I would frame it that way, that, you know, it's a three-year contract, and, and so per year basis, you know, it's perfectly fine. All right, uh, just, a, just a quick thing, what uh, what else can you do? I mean, you know, the general sense is that uh, both you and Asian Pains are gaining share at the expense of, uh, you know, uh, the number three, number four uh, players in the industry. Uh, but uh, for, for you to close the gap with the number one player, I mean, what can what else can you do? I mean, what is the differentiator going to be for Berger? So there are, you know, three things, you know, on which uh, we are working. You know, one, of course, is, is the distribution reach itself, uh, which, you know, in our case was a bit limited uh, compared to the number one player. So that needs to be improved upon. And, and we are experimenting and, and, and have been successful in certain other ways of distributing material you know and that's something which we are looking at mm. uh, in terms of products you know we are launching a few innovative products uh, just now we have introduced in the construction chemical space two very interesting products which are uh, to be used you know called damp stop duo and damp stop advanced uh, which is to be used you know before painting so now after the monsoon 
There's a lot of this dampness and leakages which you see on the walls. And then when you try to paint, you know, you try to resolve that issue first and then go for painting. So these are very interesting, unique products. One of them is absolutely unique. No one has that. You know, it's a combination of uh, pro preventing dampness along with the primer being one single uh, product. So, you know, that way the consumer also saves some money and mm -hmm. at the same time gets his dampness, you know, addressed. Uh, so that's, those are type of innovative products which we will keep launching. We have Easy Clean, we have Anti-Dust, which are leaders in their own space. And then these are the type of, you know, express painting service is being accelerated further. We are seeing good traction there in the urban markets. So uh, these are things which will take us forward, you know, close, help us close the gap to some extent with the leader as well. Okay, I think this is a product that's going to do very well. Talking from personal uh, yeah, uh, <laughs> experience in Bombay, it's really an issue. I mean, every year during the monsoons, you know. So if you're kind of painting your home and addressing dampness, then nothing like it. All the best with that. Just a couple of more questions on demand. You had earlier guided for a double-digit volume growth for FY23. Do you stick to that target? Yes, you know, uh, we will... Uh, Possibly be very close to that, you know, so uh, more or less, you know, we can say that double digit volume growth should be through. Okay, so double digit volume growth should be through. Uh, have you seen any recovery in industrial demand? Auto demand, of course, has picked up. I mean, you can just see it with the number of new launches. So can you break it up for us? Uh, what kind of growth are you seeing in both segments? Yeah, so industrial demand actually uh, is quite strong, you know, uh, because of on a low base, uh, it's coming up that way, you know, so auto actually, if you look at it two years back, what it was, you know, last year it had declined, year before also it had declined, so now it's reviving. So uh, some amount of growth there. Uh, the protective coatings in which we are the leader is also seeing strong growth rate. Uh, the general industry is a little bit impacted, but, you know, that also... Uh, is growing, but not at the pace at which uh, uh, protective is growing, or for that matter, you know, automotive is slightly slower than the protective. So overall, uh, the industrial growth rate is quite robust as of now. Mm. Uh, right. Just to, I mean, uh, close the loop on the numbers that Sonia uh, picked up on. Uh, the for this year, uh, you know, uh, revenues would be over ten thousand crores, Mr. Roy. Yes, for sure. For sure. Uh, yeah. But would margins, uh, when will margins come back to pre-COVID levels, uh, in your opinion? So I think, yeah. I think third quarter and fourth quarter margins should be good. You know, if, if nothing else happens in the raw material side, mm. you never know, you know, the volatility. You know, yesterday also the oil prices moved up a little bit. So we, we can't comment there. Uh, but I see, you know, uh, if, if, if everything remains as is currently, uh, then we see a, a revival in the margin in the third and the fourth quarter. Can we uh, can we expect you know seventeen percent over seventeen uh, percent for the? You know, it it depends on you know as I said factors, but we should be much better off than what we are uh, currently because of you know the price impact. You know we have taken the price increases and the raw material prices have cooled a little bit, mm -hmm. but the impact of that cooling of the raw material prices will be felt in the third and the fourth quarter. That's why I am saying that. There will be an increase in the margin for sure in the third and the fourth quarter. How much it will be will again be dependent. Third quarter, we will surely have a margin expansion. Fourth quarter, again, we will have to see, you know, how the raw material prices move. Okay. Just one final question. You know, the stock is down about 20-25% in the last many months. And I'm sure you understand that there are concerns, not just with one, two, but there are several new large conglomerates entering into the paint sector. Uh, so it's definitely going to be challenging. What makes you so confident of protecting your turf, protecting your market share? And do you think it's going to be a, a tough next couple of years? So again, as, as, I, as I said, you know, uh, so, you know we, we do our job, you know. Uh, there are three things which are, as I said, you know, there's uh, a scene which is entering, you know, in 2020. JSW has already entered. You know, I, I don't see uh, any uh, other major player having announced, you know, entry into the paint segment in a big way, right? So, uh, these are the companies which are there. Rest are all there, including JSW is already competing with us uh, and in there in the market. And we have continued to grow. Now, with the new entrant which is coming in, you know, we are, you know, taking all uh, our own steps in order to strengthen ourselves, as I said. And in the paint industry per se, where the growth rate is there, uh, there is provision for possibly one more player to do reasonably okay. 
So I, I don't see us being impacted seriously, you know, uh, going forward. You know, we continue to do what we know, and this is an industry which we know well. We know our consumers well, we know our dealers well, we know our painters well. We will strengthen ourselves on this front. You know, I don't, I'm not overly worried. We haven't seen, you know, see, even if, in, if you look at the India situation, there are many markets where we are very strong, mm. where even, you know, the existing leader has sure. not been able to penetrate, right? You know, same for us, you know, we have not been able to break into many of their markets. So it, it is a slow and steady process. It's not something which happens. And it's not only true for India, it's true for all over the world. You know, uh, I don't, in nearby Bangladesh, we are yeah. the leader. Right? Yeah. Yeah. They've been leaders for the last 20, 25 years. So yeah. it's as if, you know, things change. You know, it's not that uh, you pump in some money and you will see an uh, excellent result. Mm. Uh, we also have the money for to spend, you know, if required. Sure. But that's not something which will give the happen, result. Yeah, instantly. I mean, it's a whole uh, ecosystem. It's not instantaneous. Yeah, dealer, you know, there are uh, key yeah. elements, dealer, painter, consumer, all have to be aligned together. And, and maybe the interior decorator as well. <laughs> interior <laughs> decorator at times. You know, right. so to, to get all of them aligned it's and, you know, yeah. on one brand is a difficult task. Got it. Mr. Roy, uh, but good luck with that. Uh, you know, uh, you're doing a great job. Thank you very much for joining us with that perspective. Uh, appreciate Thanks. it, as always. Well, 25 points now on the Nifty. 18,026 is where uh, we are at. We're off the day's high. Uh, for now, we'll take a quick break here. Up next, we've got an interesting company joining us from the logistics space, which has also been absolutely doing very well. We have Ravi uh, Jhakar of All Cargo Logistics, who will join in uh, to talk about the much-awaited national logistics policy, which will be unveiled uh, later this Friday. Stay tuned.